Good afternoon. Welcome to the Latches Gallery and by extension for today at least, the Latches Theatre 4. My name is David, I'll be your host today and I'm going to kind of explain things as we go along with this event. This is Julia Volodina. She's my life partner and probably the greatest painter in the world. I'm not biased at all, of course. All right, Julie will be filling this blank canvas in today with colors and lines and emotion today. Up in the back is our dear friend Stefan Brandstatter, who will be providing the soundscape and the foundation, the environment of sound for this event. If you've never experienced the bliss of a gong bath, you're in for a treat. We have been very, very lucky to have been able to show Julia's art in this gallery all winter long and organize these crazy little events that we've been doing. And we'd like to thank everybody first at the Latches Arts, um, John Potter, and especially Darren Goldsmith and Dan Kasnitz, who have really gone above and beyond in helping out with this. It's hard to define exactly what we're doing today. It's not a concert. It's not the opening of a show. It's not a movie. It's a little art event. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, we're going to breathe together today, and we're going to find a nice, peaceful space together. We're going to make some art. Stefan's going to make some beautiful noises today and play his gongs maybe louder than you might expect. Julia will work on a colorscape, an abstract expression of this moment as it happens to all of us. We don't know how this is going to go. We had a dry run a couple of weeks ago, and uh, what happens today is completely unrehearsed, completely spontaneous, and improvised. But it will be art. This space is going to be filled with sound, and that blank canvas is going to be filled with color. John Cage spent his whole life devoted to the art of chants, music, sound, and art created in the moment and totally dependent on that very moment to define the art. So let's play with Cage's idea a little bit today. It's possible there will be four minutes and 33 seconds of silence. It could happen. In any case, please enjoy the music of here and now, the sound of the bells and the gongs, of the brush on the canvas, the synergy of the color and sound being created together, the roar of the trucks outside, someone's phone chirping, the aroma of popcorn. It's also quite possible, since Stefan's a drummer, that things will get rhythmic. If you need to stand up and move and dance and clap and make this meditation active and physical, please join us. Clap and sing along if that's what the art says to you today. It's all part of the whole. We are in this together. We have absolutely no idea how this is going to go. So please enjoy our moment of meditation and creation with artist Julia Volodina and gongist Stephen Branson. Thank you for being here today. And we hope you enjoy whatever happens here. And please stop by and visit us in the gallery anytime. Today, we come together 
to meditate and create together, sound and color. Let's breathe together. Let's literally take a breath together. space, disconnected from the outside and breathing together. Let's connect. Let's be in this moment together as art emerges. As a little tiny community here in this room this afternoon, we can find a universal artistic energy that prompts the art to emerge as the gong rings and as the colors come.
Is it done? Is it done? Is it done? What do you say? Well, it's done from uh, from my point of view because I do the things until I am in that stage of meditation. And as soon as I start to think, you know, about the picture, I start to think. It's like, oh, maybe I need to be yellow, maybe I need white, maybe I need to cover that corner, maybe those lines not enough. As soon as I start to think, that's time to start. <laughs> There's no thinking. Mm -hmm. So, like, I think, I think I'm, done. I'm done because thinking is done. Mm -hmm. right. And then the picture needs some time to reveal itself. So it just stays like that for a while, and then maybe tomorrow, or after tomorrow, like a week later, and I look, and I go, wow, I see this, or I see that. And it starts to talk to me. Mm -hmm. So, but this, this is the most emotional stage when, uh, when uh, kind of colors, you know, I didn't have any idea about the palette. You know, I didn't, I didn't have like previous idea what, what colors I put. I didn't have previous idea if I'm going to use black lines or I'm going to use white or I'm going to just do washes or I'm going to do this and that. It just all comes with music and the stage of meditation. And then later I wait until it talks to me. And, uh, and then from that uh, I, I, I keep going until the picture is said, it's enough, get away from me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, so, and, and, and I think right now, like in this stage, it's done. And I really enjoy to do the pictures together as people. Mm -hmm. Because when two people do the picture, the process goes faster and there is less, less time to think. Mm -hmm. So, because you kind of respond, you know, the person did something and you want to <laughs> react. So, and, 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 and it actually becomes to be more creative and more fun. Because uh, from my point of view, this type of pictures is not about the picture, not about the technique, not about the uh, quality of paint, not about the quality of anything, except the quality of the experience and joy that the artist actually has during the painting. Mm -hmm. why, that's why I think it is very important to have public. Mm -hmm. Because public gives you a little bit of uh, the sensation uh, if people respond to your impulses or they don't. Conversation. It's like, it's, it's kind of like energetic. And I used to work on the streets many years painting portraits. Mm -hmm. And I get used to this sensation because I see that I do the portrait and I feel if people like totally cold mm -hmm. or people like start to be excited more and more. And for me it was a big joy when I excite them to the point that they start to, you know, mm -hmm. do this because mm -hmm. Uh, because suddenly they, 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 they see something which they wanted to see and there is this magic moment and I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And when, when uh, an artist works in the studio, <coughs> himself, herself, there is no public. So there is no people to give you, to give you feedback. And in your case, I, 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 oh, everybody was so silent <laughs> and so quiet. <laughs> that I kind of at some point started to think like, am I alone? <laughs> or people want more? Or do I need uh, to do something? Uh, I mean, I kind of didn't know what to, 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 how to respond. And, and then I caught myself, oh my god, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> so so and, 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 and I stopped painting. So I will, I will really appreciate it if uh, if uh, you guys can give me some feedback, you know, say something, if you know about your feelings, emotions, yeah, yeah I say something. I just like the jagged edge and the red were just like really intense and I just felt like this emotion when you were... Starts in the red spots. The red spots and then the black, like the jagged them, edges, yes. like right in the center bottom. That's... Can you very see intense. any kind of images? Maybe you know, like some like shard, like a shard. It feels like it felt like a shard of glass or and blood. I don't know. <laughs> it was like a shard of glass and blood and uh, just I, like intensity. Oh, 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 o
Oh. <laughs> what happens now? Mm. Okay. Yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. It's so different now. So yeah, that's, that's, that's every time. Mm -hmm. Every time it's different. <laughs> because because you see what is happening, well, and 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 actually when I paint, that's what I do. I I, I, I constantly move them around. And, uh, and try not to focus on those um, spots which I like. For example, in this picture, I like this spot. You know, like because it's kind of like watercolor, there are a lot of difficult, you know, like a lot of uh, lines, the sex appears there, so I enjoy it. But I should be really holding myself, you know, from, from trying to save that spot. Because if I'm trying to save these beautiful spots, too early, then the picture does not reveal itself. It becomes to be like separate spots. It, it is some kind of magic, really. I mean, I, I was painting a, a realistic art all my life, and uh, and never liked abstract. Never could understand it. Didn't see any point in it. Always was very disappointed that people sell abstract art and don't sell realistic portraits. It just was hurting me, like literally. And I was looking for, uh, in, in community of artists, support for these ideas. And actually, a lot of artists don't really understand abstract and, and, and feel the same way. They feel like it's all just because people don't know how to paint. That's why they paint abstract. <laughs> a lot of artists say that, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then I thought, OK, maybe I can try. See how difficult it is. Turns out it's difficult. <laughs> it's difficult. It's difficult to paint abstract pictures. It's difficult uh, uh, to develop your own style. It's difficult to develop uh, uh, the mostly the mostly it's something uh, about your inner work and your relationship with art and the world in general. And it seems to me. Abstract art strangely reflects that 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 uh, inner inner picture, and uh, and that's what I'm trying to do. And I'm trying to present it to the public, just share my joy and uh, my fun. <laughs> do you often listen to music when you paint? And yes, how it, uh, music helps tremendously. Mm -hmm. And what kind of music do you like to listen when you paint? Well, uh, I I actually like uh, uh, live music because live music has more energetic uh, mm -hmm. feel, and uh, and it's not so much music that I need. I need a company. I need energetic feel, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and uh, and some some places create unbelievable energetic feel, and uh, and that's why I like to paint in in different places. I paint in Spain, I paint, you know, like in old monasteries and uh, in, in the middle of camp or sitting, you know, like in the middle of lake or something like this, you know, like those, those situations and those uh, things, they create this kind of excitement which reflects in the pictures. I, I painted one picture listening to shamanic music uh, recently. Mm -hmm. And uh, because you see, I like this type of music, this is kind of shamanic music a little bit. Yes, so, and I was listening, and the picture was revealing all the time some kind of like a realistic things like a bird. Then I, I was interested, who I'm listening? Turns out that the person calls herself a uh, white raven. And turns out that she's from Siberia, and that raven was appearing like by any means. And I'm trying to, you know, like not to have realistic uh, anything, and it just comes again. And again, and then again, and eventually I didn't finish the picture because I can't get rid of the of the realistic raven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I even sent that picture to her and saying, "Hey, you know, like I mean, I just uh, that just is what happens." And uh, and it's exciting also to connect with people in this level uh, through Instagram. So suddenly, some people who are also into <coughs> white ravens start to connect to your picture, to your it's 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 a magic thing. They look very interesting. Yeah. Hi. Oh, well, first I want to say that the gong bath was so beautiful. Thank you. I thank you. It, it, it felt like very cleansing to yeah. me. And I, I, it was a wonderful experience uh, with all those sounds uh, going in and out of 
of where that was taking me and looking up and seeing where you were going at the same time. Um, and, and just now, like in the last two minutes, maybe, uh, I, I, I've often, I've spent much time in the northwest part of this country, in uh, Oregon and uh, Washington, and there are many rivers where the salmon comes up to give birth. Mm -hmm. uh, it climbs, comes from the sea, and they travel up river, and they give birth, and they lose. Their colors are, are red, and uh, the scales, uh, they turn colors as they're moving along the river mm -hmm. from the sea. And they're moving along pretty fast, so they can get to where they need to give birth. Um, and uh, that's with the rock. Uh, I'm seeing a rock just above the the, the fish, uh, and it reminds me of the colors of the Northwest. But I see as an explosion of birth, uh, and the salmon losing what it does to give birth and to travel back to the sea, um, which is part of its journey. Um, so, and the rest of it was just, is perhaps for me, uh, the cosmos in its different colors uh, presenting itself at the moment. The, the colors of Wolfton, I, I mean, I mean uh, uh, the, uh, as soon as it starts to give the feedback, I start to feel, oh, well, maybe, you know, like if I change a little bit this and I change a little bit that, and while I'm changing it, it starts to go further and further. And you can see it in my different pictures, which is more advanced, you know, like I'm more done. Uh, and then, you know, you can see this process, and so this is my process. But mostly, mostly, it's interesting, like, did you sleep? Did you relax? Did you have negative feelings, like mm. emptiness and uh, disconnection? Or, you know, like something like, uh, why did I come here, or something like that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I should go home. <laughs> I, have a I have a question for the audience. Oh, okay. Did you find that the music dovetailed in any at any point or any manner with the evolution of the artwork. Yeah. Uh, this, this, uh, I this, hope so. The <laughs> I love the scraper. The sound from the scraper <laughs> was like part of the rhythm I felt. So I took my camera out at that moment. Yeah, I was just like, yeah, that moment was uh, really cool. <coughs> All right. Oh, wonderful. Well, we have a little bit of grapes there and cheese, and you can see the rest of the pictures, and who wants to stay at I, I have just a couple of questions for you. When you were painting realistic portraits, mm -hmm. what was your inner feeling? Uh, you know, mostly love to people. Uh -huh. You know, like, I, 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 I grew up with my grandparents, very much alone, mm -hmm. and that explains my creativity, because I didn't go to kindergartens, you know, like I didn't communicate with children at all. I was just like totally with my great grandparents <laughs> all day long, you know, listening to classical music and going to the forest and doing all this, you know, like things like that. So, and when I actually eventually could paint people, I felt love, you know, like I love people. People are so cool, they're so beautiful, they're all so spiritual, they're so. You know, like I wanted, I wanted to paint up. You know, all the faces were different for me. You know, like and and then and then uh, over years and years and years, my evolution now brought me to this kind of understanding that the faces all mean different, but there is some kind of bigger entity behind the whole humanity. So like, uh, and right now I'm not interested in this individual uh, details. You know, like what that person is different is that person, you know, like I'm more interested about what is uh, that connection with, uh, with that kind of bigger scale, you know, like yeah. that's the flex in art. Mm -hmm. yeah. My other question is, uh, when the, a week later you say, or uh, whatever time mm -hmm. later the painting speaks to you, mm -hmm. and does, does the painting ever say, I could use a little bit more yellow over here? In that, that is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, when I start to see something, it just starts to do that, yeah. It's saying, well, you know, like this spot, if you do like a little bit here, you like unite the shape, then you know, like something. And as soon as I do that, like it's this teeny weeny change. The picture changes. And, uh, and, 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 and then I keep going until I feel like the picture is improving itself. 
So you might paint more. I, I, I mm -hmm. would paint probably more. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, I, I don't yeah. know. If I fell in love with it and I say, wow, that was an unbelievable mm -hmm. moment and the energy of this place you know, gave me this uh, incredible gift. And I will just, you know, put it on the wall and look at this every day and say, gosh, that was a marvelous moment. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. See, now I can't go back and, and add something to, to uh, the virtual soundtrack. It's gone. It's out there in the universe. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's, that's a difference. That's a difference. You see, yeah. like a uh, like performer, uh, pro, uh, performer artist doesn't have that luxury. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, uh, painting actually is a physical thing. You can put it on the wall, you can see it, and you always come back to this happy moment. But you, but you make time-based media. Yes. Also. Also. Yes. 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 And that is very curative, you know, like because, uh, and that's what I noticed about my portraits. Yeah, I could. If I, if my was my studio, clients I could very often were saying to me, because they were coming back next year, next year, next year, many years. And they were saying, you know, in the beginning we didn't like the portrait. We didn't like the portrait. We didn't frame it. We just put it on, uh, you know, some corners there. And then a couple of years, we put it in the frame. Every year, I like it better. <laughs> so you see, because well, why do I like it every year better? Because every year, a picture becomes to be your friend. Mm -hmm. But in that energy, in that moment. Well? Well, thank you. All right. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much for coming out today. Yeah, thank you. Really yeah. appreciate it. Thank you. There are coupons for a discount in the pub if you want to go in there. And we've got some green grapes, in, I think, in here. And uh, again, thank you very much for coming. Appreciate it. We do have a couple of donations baskets. Can I take a picture of you again, Daisy? We kind of separated before. I oh, yeah, sure. Would, 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 would Julia? Picture? Yeah, my wife, she couldn't come. I want to show her. Sure, time. Julia. Yeah. This gentleman would like to take a picture of you and me together, I guess. Okay. You want David too? Yes. No, David's not. I just want to see Separate. Just separate this a little bit. That way. Just that way. No, this way. That way. That way. This way. That way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I can see the painting. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, 
Well, I'm I open know, two, to doing. Minutes, uh, and, and yes, I guess the answer different. is yes. I'm open right. to anything. Is that like, like that five times? It was great. Is, Wonderful uh, experience. Yeah. Great. To anyone so the, uh, who has any as well as the, uh, interest, the, the I'm changes that we keep kept popping. working with gongs in the capacity. Last night I did my first introductory workshop to the energy, power, and spirit of the gong. Um, I've done you know, gong baths for individuals and groups and yoga studios. You know, so whatever you have in mind, you know, certainly share. Let me give you a card. Yeah, I sure appreciate it. Tell me your name again. Suze. Suze. Where are you from? It's Carlson. Um, well, I spent many years in the Northwest, but I was born. No, I actually don't know. I'd like to do some magic. Yes. That ought to work. Yeah. Hey, pleasure. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't do quite enough of it, but. Never enough I'm, I'm glad Julia didn't take a, a big, uh, wide brush with a black on it and start coloring it in black. That would be like, ah, oh, you should have stopped. Yeah, uh, you know, I've, I've seen, seen her, that. I've seen her paint a lot of pictures. And sometimes she does that. I'm like, oh, oh that's beautiful. Oh. She'll go whap and do something well, really you, weird, you, but it works too. That, that's where the video would have captured the, the, the ultimate uh, point uh, that it was good.
when she does watercolors, uh -huh. sometimes the painting, the, the image will actually, to me, to my eyes, be finished. And it's like, awesome. Yeah. And then she'll take like a really wet brush and put a bunch of water on top and let it, let it just sort of drip. Oh, sure. And I'm like, don't ruin it. <laughs> and it just, it just crazy. creates this wash. Thank you.